a new tool to help you mass placing objects coming up. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Bofaki and welcome to my filmmaking and game development channel. And I'm really excited in this video to share with you my third official Unity tool which is available or gonna be available on the Asset Store as well as my own store. So the tool will help you mass placing objects randomly, hence the name. So to get started, we go to Obby Tools and then Random Placer. And these are my other two tools. So here it is. There's nothing there. It asks you to assign a random placer object. You don't have to worry about this. You just click here to create a new Obby Random Placer. And now we have it. So here you will see this gizmo grid and there is nothing pretty much happening here and if you don't see this make sure to enable the gizmo icon here and to make it work you just place any asset you want to place so let's drag this and hit spawn well nothing happened why well because we have a layer mask and this is a layer based system so you can just select everything and now if I move it look at the magic if we hit spawn we'll see it in front of us as you can see now before and after the gizmos has lifted a little bit up well because we're taking into consideration everything so if I create a new cube here if I select the object placer instance or I can select it from here, the current or the last OBRP object, you will see that it is detecting this cube as well. If I just disable everything and only target terrains, it will just ignore everything else. And as you can see, it creates everything in a parent for tidiness and to have a clean setup. So I'm just gonna delete this and show you more let's say we have these ferns we have four of them and i can simply drag it here and select the object to place it around we can increase the spacing between them and we can increase the grid size but i'm just going to keep it like this eight by eight just pull it up a little bit to detect the height and maybe we can decrease the space a little bit so if I hit spawn now we will see it I'm just gonna disable the gizmos for now and look at it we have it here another cool thing we can do is you can add all four of them here and just place them randomly so if I hit spawn now and disable the gizmos we will see that it has created a variation of ferns and all the time it's using the smart boundary and facing the normals and not only that if I select it back again and enable the gizmos you can even make it hollow so you only create the borders here so you can increase the spacing a little bit here and remove all objects and we will just use this electricity pole and its spawn. it has created a fence for us and it's facing the normals let's say we don't want it to face the normals so I'm just gonna undo that and go to the magic tab advanced mode so I'm just gonna disable face normals and hit spawn again now you will see them all vertically straight we have a visualization setting where we can control the gizmo size and we have heat map and percentages as well and you can even adjust the heat map from here so basically the heat height map shows us the height of the gizmo or the grid we have so before we dive into that I'm just gonna show you a few other things we can enable random rotation so if I just delete these ones and spawn a new set, you will see each is rotating 
differently than the other. And that would be cool for these guys as well, the ferns. Now I'm just gonna delete all of these and show you even the other cool stuff. We have stuff like manual offset and you can use global or local to adjust and fine tuning the few steps, but we will talk about more exciting things. So let's select the uh, instance again and yeah, I'm just gonna remove the hollow option. Let's move it around here. And let's say we wanna add some randomness into it. We have influence. And then we have the range multiply to add some more chaos into it. So if we hit spawn now, it has created a randomized set. And now we go into the cool and more detailed feature. So you might be wondering why we have this heat map of the height. Well, here is the answer. We have rules. So here you can add rules and spawn objects based on their height. So I can add a rule here. Let's add two rules. The first rule will be from zero all the way to, let's say, 20%, like to cover this half. We will use ferns. Anything on top of this, we will just use the electricity poles. So the first rule, the minimum height is 0%, maximum is 20. And we will use one of the ferns, or actually let's use all four of them. And if it's 20 all the way to 100, or no, let's say from 20 to, uh, I don't know, 70. From 20 to 70, we will use this rock. And the last rule would be 70 to 100, the electricity pole. We can just position it wherever we want. And let's hit spawn and look at the magic. So at the bottom here, we have the ferns. The slider we got up, we have these rocks, and then we have the electricity pole. And one thing you might notice is that they're not actually facing the normals. So we're just gonna delete that, and this time enable face normals, and hit spawn. Now we have it facing the normals. And the cool thing is that we can move them around, so we can go back to our OBRP, and select the last spawned prefabs and it should select it and we can just drag it anywhere here and we can click smart place and it place it on the surface so this is it and of course the amount of things you can do with it are just limitless you can keep doing a lot of things with it and if you have any kind of feedback or suggestions you can just let me know and i would definitely be happy to add them into the tool so check it out in the asset store and on my store and just to remind you that in the asset store i think the first two weeks for new releases we have the options as publishers to give it away for 50 percent and I have opted in for this, so you can check it out. It's probably 50% off, and let me know what you think. See you in the next video.